Well, it's December and we're going to discuss November's data. We're clearly seeing some signs of changes in our market. So let's jump right in. So you will notice that we have a new median home price of $430,990. That's down about $10,000 from last month. Overall, it's about a 2% decrease. And if you take a look at the graph, you will notice that we have peaked in May and that median home price was right around 482,000. And so it's near $50,000 decrease from May to November in our data. So you'll see that on the graph right here. And then we also, uh, see that we have a decrease in the number of units sold. Actually, we're at a pretty low amount in comparison to the last several years. So when you take a look at this data, you will notice that we're down 11% from month to month. And then we're also down 53.5% from last year in the number of units sold. Now, obviously we had COVID, we had a pandemic over the last couple of years that changed the normal cyclical cycles. We would typically have a slowdown in a winter month, but last winter and the previous, we really did not have that because people did not buy in the spring as normal when COVID first happened. And then there was a market frenzy because interest rates were at all time low and the market was just booming over this. So we're clearly seeing some adjustments that are well needed at this point. So when you really digest this graph, you should see that we have just down ticked about eight, nine months consecutively uh, this year where it's coming down, the units number sold is on a downturn. Now we're going into December's data next month. Everything is always on a little bit of a lag. And what I'll say is, is that when we look at this, we typically have the seasonal down pull, but we're kind of compounding it with these high interest rates. So it's going to allow supply and demand to come into play, meaning we are increasing inventory. So let's jump to inventory really quick. So what I'm noticing on inventory is that we have availability of about 7,300 units. And that is uh, where we see this stark increase where you know we were at such a low for two good full years and then now we are uh getting higher but we're not higher than the previous last years we're sitting at pretty normal amount of inventory so i think that it's important to know that we're not flooded in our market and that is not going to make the prices plummet unless of course market changes continue over time, but we're really seeing kind of like a normalization happen at this current moment. Um, we have about 4.8 months of supply. Again, comparison to May back, that was when we hit our peak, that was like 1.2 months of supply. So we really have a clear difference and our availability, which is making it easier for buyers to find a home to negotiate and sellers got to be a little bit more willing to give some concessions and negotiate with their buyers. And they're going to be on the market a little longer, but this does make sense. Um, now when it comes to our clients, if we're helping them buy right now, I'm looking to get as much as I can from a seller to hopefully, hopefully buy the interest rate down. Maybe we consider an arm only if you're an aggressive uh, person when it comes to paying things off quickly, where you double your payments and do you have like ideas like that, or you are uh, understanding of the fact that you don't have to marry the rate. You can buy the house, right? And then ultimately consider a refinance, but you have to do that very carefully because um, that did hurt people back in the day. Uh, now, obviously people were coming in with like no money and things like that. So now you can't even really do those arms without 20% down. So it's more commitment, so it's less risky, but however, you just need to be careful. And when we talk to our clients, we're really going to go deep into those details because we don't want people being irresponsible with their decisions. We want the longevity. I recently just turned down, you know, a client and they were not in a good situation. It would have made them very unstable. And so we really don't want to uh, put people in a bad place like that. So 
slow and steady wins the race, right? And sometimes you have to pay attention to where you are. Everyone has a unique situation. Uh, there's people that still relocate and with with what concessions and discounts right now could still be great for them. It could be, anybody has a reason to sell. I mean, there's downsizing, upsizing, you name it. And uh, we, we, we tend to help people in general, but it seems as if most people are taking a little bit of a back turn and saying, you know what, I'm gonna ride this out right now. I'm gonna wait and see, and I'm seeing that a lot with a, a bunch of our people that we know. So anyways, um, this year, these are the main points of the, the market update. One more thing uh, to mention is the number of units uh, sold is, I mean, it was 3,500 in May, and it's down to 1,521. So definitely big difference, but again, remember, seasonal is normal. So I think next month's data is going to be uh, just like this, pretty pretty close to the same. Um, maybe the numbers are down just a little bit more, but I don't expect a huge increase in inventory next uh, month's data. And that's because people tend to not put their homes on the market during the winter months and December holidays, et cetera. So in the next couple months, I do think we're gonna see an inventory increase. So if you have questions about the real estate market, I am here for you, uh, my team. We want to be able to navigate, make plans with you, and really help you come up with a bigger picture because I find that it is about planning and strategizing. And again, uh, not, it's not one fits all in the way it works. So give me a call, even if you're a year away, I'd love to start connecting with you, helping you understand and get prepared so that we can make those plans for the future. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't, uh, like us, follow us on social media, and always have a great day. Mm -hmm.